a new era of quarrying. With the railway being introduced to Rosendale in 1846, just 16 years after the opening of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway, stone could be easily transported to wherever it was needed. Hillside quarrying quickly grew in the area, and for up to 60 years stone was used to build towns and cities all over Britain and in other countries. On the moor tops there were many miles of tramway linking the largest quarries to the main railway loading points in the valley below. Wagons were lowered down extremely steep hillsides on specially constructed slopes known as inclines. Railway wagons full of heavy stone were lowered slowly down the incline. Their weight was used to pull up empty wagons without steam or any power being used. The entire operation was done using a long wire rope attached to the trucks and coiled round a large wooden drum at the top of the incline, which was controlled very simply by two brakes. At the peak period of 1870 to 1890, up to 3,000 men worked in the quarrying industry, the third largest workforce in Rosendale after textiles and footwear. The demand for stone kept on growing. It had the special quality of being tough enough for curbstones, road sets and flagstones, as well as for steam engine beds in the numerous cotton mills. When the layer of rock was deep beneath the ground and difficult to reach, stone mines were excavated by quarrymen following the thick layers of this strong rock. As a result, miles of tunnels were created. The quarries of Chapel Hill, Bonfire Hill and Scout in the Whitewell Valley are all honeycombed with stone mines, many of which have now collapsed, and are extremely dangerous.